In Maplewood, New Jersey, activist Jason Hayes tries to process the tragedy. Ten years prior to Orlando, we had a school in Sandy Hook, Connecticut, full of middle American white children murdered. And we found ourselves with weaker gun laws in this country. So I literally just had to say to people, if you think that America is going to jump up in arms and anger and frustration because 49 fags and lesbians of color were killed, you're crazy. That's, it's not going to change anything. And so I had to do something. I couldn't just sit ang and be angry and, and cry anymore. I was like, what am I gonna do? I, I've gotta help my gay brothers and sisters. I've gotta help my LGBT community. I just spent night after night searching. Are there events happening? Is there somewhere for me to go? Are there candlelight vigils? Are they nearby? I have an idea. We're gonna hold a national rally called Disarm Hate. We're going to bring together the LGBTQ community and we are going to bring the gun violence prevention community together. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know if it's gonna happen. But all I know is I'm gonna try. So I went online and applied for the permits, downloaded the seven page application <laughs> for, with the National Parks Department and um, sent that over and put it on Facebook that I was gonna be holding a rally in Washington, DC. Come on, we're gonna do something. We're gonna be heard. We're gonna stand up. And uh, my husband came home that night from work and walked in the door and just said, I'm gonna fucking kill you. I said, what? And he said, you applied for permits for a march on Washington. I was like, it's just gonna be you know, a small rally, a gathering, and he just started laughing. And he said, no, I know you. Nothing you do is ever small. Suddenly, I saw this guy, he posted on a forum about wanting to do a rally in DC. From there on, it became about getting there to film this man who was the only person I saw with a goal after Pulse.